today I'll be showing you a walkthrough of my newest planner. Um, I've been trying to do um, more daily planning because that helps me get in the mood of what I need to do that day and it's more of like a brain dump for myself so that I know what to do for the day. Um, and I'm actually really liking this more simplistic way of planning in these um, simple planners and not having too many tabs and things to do so that overwhelms me. So um, I've made this planner um, as a daily notepad so that I can just um, plan for the day and maybe the day ahead to get all my thoughts and to-dos down. So um, I'll walk you through my planner. Um, this planner um, comes with three different uh, covers and you can either drag whichever one to the front and they'll be your planner cover. Currently I like using this more vibrant, brighter one. Um, and so this one is a very simple planner. Um, what you get is um, uh, the days of the week and the planner layout and it links from Monday here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then if I need to go back to the front, I'll hit, hit the home button and then um, it'll take me to this index where I can go back to my planner. And I have a notepad with four different um, blank pages. So you can do whatever you want um, with the note pages. And you also have a shortcut up here to access um, the note pages. So um, this is a, just a very simple um, planner. Um, it's made so that uh, you can just duplicate the pages as you go. Um, I find this actually helps with um, the speed and the file size of the planner so you only duplicate what you need. And um, if you want to take a look, here are all the pages. So it's a very simple planner, but it is pretty powerful in that it is simple and you get your thoughts down right away and it's very effective and productive instead of planning too much sometimes I find that um, really gets me overwhelmed. So I just want to show you how I use this planner. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, all these pages, only they only have the day of the week here. But say it's Wednesday again and I want to um, add another Wednesday page, all you need to do is add the plus and then duplicate the current template and then you'll have a blank one ready for you to go and the links will still work like before, but you just have a, another page of the Wednesday. Um, another way of doing it is going to the overview uh, thumbnails and just duplicating the page um, and then you'll see an overview of all the pages you have here and um, going into more detailed um, I designed this so that um, it's pretty minimal so you don't overwhelm yourself with too much things to do in one day um, how I would like to use this is first start off with um, your focus of the day so um, you'll write down uh, what you want to do today, like your goal or um, some mantra that you want to um, keep in mind. And then um, there's a to-do section, um, what uh, you can do here. What I've done is use it as like a personal to-do list. So I wanted to do workout. And then um, the another section that I have is um, splitting it between home tasks and work tasks. And I have a note section here. Um, these are actually, and you can either um, write some notes down or add some trackers that you have. Um, right now, I've added some trackers. Um, these are not included in this planner, but I'll be probably releasing them soon. And um, 
yeah, these are just uh, some trackers that I have that I've added in here. Um, and once I have all my things that I want to do today, um, then I will just uh, schedule it in my schedule. Um, so I already know that I have uh, this chunk of time to do work um, while my kid naps. So um, I know what time I can squeeze some work in. And um, I plan out my lunch and things I want to do, um, workout and meal prep, and um, all the other little things go in between um, the things that are set. So um, it's pretty straightforward, um, very easy to use, and it just helps um, keeping you focused for the day. And with the set of stickers that came with it, um, you can change the headers. So say you don't want these headers that I have right now, you can use it as like add next week to it. It's in the same font. So you can just add it in there and replace it. So you can have um, it customized the way that you want or um, I've also included um, different fonts for the weekly headers so you can um, easily just cover it. You either take a screenshot of a blank page or um, use this as like a whiteout and like white this out. And then adding um, the new header on like this. So there's definitely a lot of room for customization with this planner, which I love and it's simple to use. And if you decided that this planner is for you, you can get it in the link in my description. And if you bought this planner already, I'll be showing you how to download it from Etsy next. So I'm going to show you how to open up the file on Etsy and download it to your device. Um, so the thing is that the Etsy app currently doesn't um, allow digital download, so we'll be opening it in your browser. And once you have that in your browser, you can go down to your profile and go to purchases and review. And once you're there, you'll see all your purchases. All you need to do is go to the right hand side where it says download files and once you go in here and you scroll down to the bottom of the page you will see that there are files to be downloaded here and once you download something you'll see at the top here that it's been downloaded and once it's been downloaded, you can go into your iCloud Drive where the downloads is and then open up this. And either you can send it to GoodNotes here or you can open it directly on GoodNotes. Import, go back to downloads and you'll find your item here to import. And I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing how I plan my day and I'm really excited to be using the new planner. So if you want to check out all the links that I've mentioned, um, they're all in the description and I'll see you next time.